Today I wanted to talk to you about my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven favorite pieces of gear I took with me on the Superior Hiking Trail. First up is my camera holder. This is actually a water bottle holder that I got for Christmas just from a random party I went to, but it's great. It fits my camera right away. I strap it right on my strap of my backpack so it's easy to access. And that's like the most important thing about taking a camera. You want it easy. Um, it attaches by a magnetic strap, so it's really secure. So that's my first one. My second one is um, a pouch that I use around my belt. Um, I use this to replace, it actually replaced my, um, I forget what you call these, <laughs> the, uh, the top that goes on the back of your backpack. And what I carried in here, I put it right on my belt strap. What I carried in here is my phone, um, my maps, and if I had um, just like a quick snack, also my headphones and my MP3 player. Um, I found the, the pouches on the um, backpack itself were actually really hard to open and close. Um, so this was a lot easier for that. The third thing that I was really happy with was my Eurosac full food holder. Um, I saw a lot of people struggling with brand hanging food bags and whatnot. Uh, this I could just secure around a tree. Um, you know, of course, away from camp, um, but it was great. The only bad thing about it is it's not waterproof. So one night it rained. My food didn't get wet because I had all of that in plastic bags, but the bag itself got wet. So next time I'll just bring a, you know, like a little plastic bag to put around it, around the tree, so then it won't be all soaking. My next thing was my boot straps or blouse and straps. You get these uh, from a military uh, surplus stores where I got them and you use them and you just wrap around the bottom of your pants um, and then you put your pants inside which is really great for someone who's short whose pants are always too long and uh, then they they won't drag through the mud and whatnot my next favorite piece of gear was my um, anchor power battery pack this thing i use this for five nights now granted i didn't have my cell phone on only to use my gps or something specific um, but I did use it to watch movies and what night at night and this thing I just charged it every night it still had three bars after four days um, that was also charging my mp3 player too so I was really happy with this my next piece of gear was my climate um, blow up pad and I stole this from my husband it has a 4.1 rating our rating which was great because Previous times I had used a different sleeping bag, uh, sleeping pad that did not have an R rating and I actually had to cut my, my backpack short because it got down to, you know, 34 degrees and I was just freezing at night. This made a world of difference. Um, I actually switched to a lesser warm sleeping bag with this and I went down in weight because of the sleeping bag and I felt like I was warmer with that. One other thing that I did add, since we're in the Midwest and you never know what you're going to get, a sleeping bag liner. Um, this thing I just picked up on a whim. I got it from Shields. It's a Sea to Summit. It's really thin, but you can, I think it's just enough just to kind of give your body like a hug and keep, keep the body warmth in at night. So um, those were my favorite pieces of gear. Um, hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful.